Good morning everyone. Today I, your social science teacher, I'm gonna explain chapter 8 of civics that is a shirt in the market. In the previous chapter, we explored the types of markets that we see around us. However, we have never wondered how the product reaches these markets. In this chapter, we will explore the journey of clothes from the farms to the market. The journey of cotton cloth starts with the farmer cultivating cotton on their lands and ends in the market. Whereas these farmers face a lot of problems for cultivation and are under a lot of pressure of the local traders who give them the loan in return they ask for, from them to sell their product to them only. After buying cotton from the farmers, the traders sell it to the ginning mills. In the mill, the seeds of the cotton are removed and the cotton is pressed into bales. Further, it goes to the market, to the merchant, where the merchant buys the yarn and have co extensive contacts across the country. These contacts help them to get orders from cloth from garment industries. Once they get the orders, they distribute the work um, along with the purchased yarn to weavers. The weavers then weave the yarn into cloth and bring it back to the merchant in lieu of a small sum of money. This arrangement of work between the merchant and the weavers, whereby the merchant provides raw material to the weaver in return for the finished product from them is known as the putting out system. There are seemingly two advantages of this system for the weavers. First, the weavers do not have to spend their money on purchase of yarn. Secondly, the problem of selling the finished product is also taken care of. Weavers know from the outset what cloth they should make and how much it is to be woven. However, there are also the disadvantages of this system. Owing to their powerful positions, the merchant often offer very low prices to the weavers. A weaver spends most of their savings along with borrowed money to set up the looms. They work 12 to 14 hours a day to finish the order of the merchant on time. However, in spite of all these investments, they get to earn only a small share of the income that the merchant earns by selling the cloth to the garment factories. Secondly, it gives a lot of power in the hands of the merchants. The arrangement between the merchant and the weaver is an example of the putting out system. Weavers Cooperative. A cooperative refers to the coming together of people with similar interests to work towards a shared goal of mutual benefit and welfare. It is formed to reduce the dependency of the people at the base such as weaver and artisans on intermediaries. The government also assists cooperative groups by buying the finished products from them. The government pro procures the cloth for this program, certain programs from the power loom weavers. The garment exporting factory near Delhi. These factories deal with the foreign buyers. These foreign buyers lay very strict rules for the business. They demand the lowest prices from the suppliers. Secondly, they set high standards of quality of production and timely delivery. Any defect or delay in delivery is dealt with strictly. The exporter tries ex to export his best to meet the conditions set by these powerful buyers. Because of these conditions, there are certain problems which are faced by the workers. These workers' wages are fixed according to their skills. The highest paid among the workers are the tailors who get laid about rupees money according to their skill. The people are of different categories. Some are cutting the cloth, some are buttoning, ironing or packaging. These jobs have the lowest wages. 
the same shirt which is produced in the factory and is sold at 200 rupees is sold by the sh factory or the exporter in USA in 1200 rupees he bought the shirt only for 200 he spent 100 rupees for the storage and 300 rupees for the advertisements in total he spent rupees 600 but he sold the shirt at 1200 rupees this shows the amount of profit is the 100% in this type of system the gainers are the maximum gainers are the foreign business persons secondly the garment exporters and the at the last comes the workers of the garment factory and the farmers who grew the cotton in their fields this shows that in democracy the mark in the markets the equality does not exist the poor are becoming poorer and the richer are becoming richer if families don't earn enough how would they think of themselves as equal to others to minimize minimize this inequality the cooperatives are being